Some paths must eventually cross. And as two of the greatest fighters in the UFC kept dominating their opposition, it was inevitable that this moment would come. When the octagon door closes for tonight's super fight, the talk will be over. And the entire sports world will come to a halt. This is no ordinary fight. It's a battle between two champions willing to put their own divisional crowns on the line to prove themselves worthy to be on top. And when the dust settles, there can only be one winner, a king with two crowns. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC light heavyweight division title. As I walk through the valley with my ladder and flex I know where the school is in it, I just have a regret When they all thought we was finished, they was laughing at that So I went and put me in the Well, what a moment we have got in front of us tonight And for this fighter one win away from UFC immortality. He became a UFC champion in one division, and tonight he will try to become a simultaneous two-division UFC champion. Absolutely incredible. What can be accomplished in front of our eyes tonight? As he steps towards this cage, he understands this is one of the biggest moments in his life, the biggest moment in his career. He is looking to take this title, and he believes his time is now. His preparation. So here he is, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, looking to walk out the same way he is walking in tonight as the undisputed reigning defending champion. No doubt this man walks in as the best 205 pounder in the world. He proved it when he won the belt, proved it when he has defended it since. Now the question is, as the challenges get stiffer, Joe, is he still the best in the world? A lot of people think he is. We'll get our answer in short order. The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Johnson is 14 years the elk. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Championship of the world. If you just fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, three losses. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, presenting the challenger, the Nightman. Scheduled for five rounds if need be. Well, you can feel the tension in the building here. Going to be very interesting to see if he can bottle the emotions, focus on the task at hand as he tries to become a simultaneous two-division UFC champion here tonight. This was the super fight he asked for. Ask and you shall receive. Let's see what he can do with the opportunity. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? 
a big factor in this fight tonight could easily be the takedowns of Anthony Rumble Johnson. People expect Rumble to stand and bang, and oftentimes he'll take an opponent down, switch it oh, up. Oh, he's he's Beautiful knockout here early in the first. Yeah, we're just getting going, and now the fight's over, but excellent striking technique to land that shot and ultimately finish the fight here in the first. You've heard us say it before, but sometimes when you catch a guy cold before he's had a chance to get going in the fight, it can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Watch this again here. Boom! And then he's out. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop in this contest. At one minute, nine seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, the Nightman. Well, you can add his name to the list of the greatest fighters in UFC history, a future Hall of Famer as he becomes a two-division UFC champion here tonight. Some suggested maybe he was biting off more than he can chew. The naysayers are eating crow right now. You are staring at a two-division UFC champion. Our most sincere congratulations.